Hey, YouTube land. Um, yeah, I'm tired and sweating right now because I've actually been doing some manual labor, which I hate doing. My body hates it. But um, doing a lot of work the past couple days, mainly on aesthetics. Not really much on the system that I can think of. Um, funny story is I have my seedlings and microgreen sprouts growing inside. And I guess we, I discovered why some of the times the plants go flat and sprouts go flat. Discovered one of our cats likes to lay on the sprouts. The sprouts more than the seedlings, but yeah. So I'm going to have to come up with a way, a door on those to keep uh, cats out. But I went ahead and moved out the lettuce. And they're kind of laying flat right now, wind blowing. But they'll get stronger. Um, they're all out here. I, re I really should mark things. This whole flat is iceberg lettuce and I didn't have enough so I plugged up the ends to keep the algae out this one is all this section here is the romaine simmerin the red romaine and then this right here is romaine little greens I'm gonna have to find a way to keep these down and then this right here is butter crunch these two are mystery I just moved them out here to experiment earlier but this one's getting red leaves so I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the remain simmering I still algae I still gotta take care of that I did top this off finally today with more hydrotin because I, I don't know if I can see it here it, yeah, it's kind of dissipated but I had some algae growing there because this was exposed to Sun and so I topped it all off so the top layer of hydrogen is dry it went and got some marigolds. Basically, I'm going to plant them in little clay pots and put them around my tomatoes and other veggies to help keep bugs away. I think they call it companion gardening or companion growing. I'll find out what else I need. And yeah, if I need to, um, I have these clipped, but you know, I'm probably going to put a little hoe, change one or two of these out to a three or four outlet so I can have little hoes that I can water these from the system every once in a while but I thought that was cool um, you can see more red stuff on the ground that's what I've been doing a lot of is Home Depot has a sale on this uh, red mulch it's guaranteed for 12 months to retain color but the dry red stuff you see there that's from five years ago six years ago is when I had the greenhouse so I think it will last quite a while and I'm putting like an inch or two on there and I'm going to put it underneath the stations here as I get going and I finally dug a trench to this point I need to still dig it to my little uh, hole there that's filled with gravel that way I'm not dumping all the water out onto the uh, neighbor's yard but uh, yeah I trenched it up piped it up and it goes into a uh, tube outlet so when we drain the uh, hot tub I just take a tube from the pump plug it in there and it all drains out I put a T here I'm gonna cap it whoops forget what the camera's pointing I got a T here I'm gonna cap it of course but so I can take a hose and plug it there and <coughs> squirt any garbage out the other end this still needs to be uh, extended out eventually when I get the siding on this is for filling the hot tub but I got the ground cover around this far. Uh, today I did dose with some iron. And I've been, been buying some more bricks. I continue our little wall here. Got a lot of dirt. Leveling this all out. And taking dirt from here. So eventually we'll have this cleaned out. And I will be putting some of that ground cover up here. And then I'm going to get... Um, 25 or 30 gallon fabric root pots to put up here for our citrus dwarf trees will be our little grove up here probably gonna take the bricks come around to here and then take a straight wall into the wall there I'm still debating if I'm gonna cut these things out or I'm gonna hire somebody to finish cutting them out and then I'm gonna hire somebody to put in fence posts and rails and then I'll probably put the boards in as I feel like it and as I have money 
and then I really want to get a passion fruit plant a couple put up around here to cover the fence I already got a source in that Larry if you ever watch my videos you're the source and if everybody anybody want needs some passion fruit Larry has a great he sells them on eBay and Etsy all sorts of um, passion fruits uh, avocados banana trees so hit him up maybe if I remember I'll put a link down below to his uh, one of his stores and we're getting tomatoes coming in wife's happy about those this is our favorites every day I come out and just kind of pull this guy up so he'll continue to climb up and I'll eventually clamp him to that we also I would like to show you that we had some red strawberries here but um, the wife ate them here's one she ate that one she ate that one but she would have just pulled them off grab them ah, pull them off I told her I was gonna pull them off anyway to let the plant grow some more might as well get this one off too it doesn't look like it's gonna be a healthy one ah, I need to go clip a bunch of these and then I have my little bucket here and I started to throw my discarded greens in once they rot I'll throw them in the worm composter which is starting to get full already and I think my new plan my new project is right over there by the shed I'm gonna build a horizontal migration worm composter and potting bench I don't know I was gonna put a potting bench here on the end but then I thought maybe I over oh, there are the worms I don't know so I have to store a lot of soil and this whole middle section is not going to be anything. We're going to put a fire pit here. So I'm going to put some stuff in the, side, the fence there. Anyway, I'm rambling on with the dreams and hopes and desires. Now we still have six beds here to fill up as we uh, keep on growing here. I do have a couple uh, sucklings from the tomato plants I pulled out. This guy's just kind of buried because I raised the hydrogen up, but they are rooting. I, I, try, I try not to throw all the sucklings away. I try to root some. If I can use them, I'll keep them. If not, I can give them or sell them, whatever happens. So, eh, probably just gonna silicone this. Whoops, this because I don't want to take it apart. Algae's not a bad thing, it just, it robs your system of nutrients. So anyway, that is it. Good evening, aquaponic and gardening fiends out there in the world. One second, I have to go over here and uh, shut off the water to the hot tub I was topping off. There we go. So, what have we been doing? Not a lot. This past weekend, it's Monday by the way, Monday the 8th or 9th of April. Maybe even the 10th. I don't know. All that just kind of keys my head. I need to file for extension on my taxes. But, oh, there's a koi. He's up at the top. There he goes. They might be getting hungry. I know these guys are coming up to the top for food now. And they're hungry. See, you can see them coming up. That's a good thing. They're starting to get to know me. Hey, little fishies. Anyway, this past weekend, my daughter had a couple a back-to-back uh, color grid competition so I was away for most of the weekend and um, so didn't get a whole lot done and I had a busy shipping weekend I, I need to get back in ship tonight so and then today we had an unusual spike in temperature it was in the 90s mid 90s today and so I didn't come outside today unless I was in an air conditioned bubble but now it's uh I don't know what time is it. It's, it's about six o'clock and it's cooled down a bit. A little breeze coming in, but we got clear blue skies. This little heat wave is a mini heat wave. It's going to last through tomorrow and then we're going to cool back down. It's a good thing. So let's go through some things and thoughts here. Uh, one thought is I'm going to eat that in the next couple days. But another thought is I'm rethinking the black coral, plast, whatever, plastic corrugated sheets here. I might try white, but white is somewhat translucent and that might cause algae. But this black stuff, 
and the heat of the day gets hot and I picked away a lot of it but you can see here like this guy just kind of died but when the leaves fall over on in the heat of the day they're not strong enough to be up yet it wasn't supposed to be this hot when I plant them when the leaves come down in contact with the black part it just burns them and that's not a good thing so I'm gonna rethink that a little bit we'll see how these guys go a little bit longer you know some are doing okay others not so much so and I also put a romaine and another greenie in the bed I was gonna do a comparison between the two on growth rates try to figure out what's better the DWC or the fill and, fl uh, fill and drain here and heat wise fill and drain wins because these little clay balls do not get very warm if at all I felt this during the day and it was hot so may have to go to the styrofoam but the stuff with the silver stuff I don't know if that silver stuff gets hot as well so either that or I gotta leave these plants inside longer until they get nice and strong like these little dudes so thoughts going forward in the hydroponic garden I didn't have really a problem I wasn't doing float in the hydroponics and the hydroponic I was doing this type of DWC NFT combo doohickey I had if you look back at my videos on hydroponics I had racks of these up against this side of the wall and with two inch pots like this just filled with kale and lettuce and it did well in there except for it did get too hot inside the, the greenhouse so I haven't planted these guys yet like I said it got hot but look at the growth on the strawberries they are getting bushy I like that basil this basil has shot up this one here and even this guy who just a couple days ago was a flop over mess is shooting up now basil gets pretty big so I might have to work something out and move one or two of these you know when I get these things going maybe move some over there but uh, and these strawberries have come back they're doing quite well now spinach even though with the heat a couple leaves are getting burned off spinach is doing well so they just got to make it through tomorrow and I think I'll have a good spinach crop um, this spring uh, this guy can well oh, he's back up he was he was um, DOA this, this afternoon with the heat but he sprung back up these are just clippings I took out of the uh, suckers from the tomatoes so and the kale kale's everywhere I've been picking out little kale and kind of spreading them around a little bit here and there there's a couple more. This tomato guy, I'm going to pull him out. He's not going to make it. Eee. But these guys, I'm just looking to get them roots so I can give them to friends or sell them to enemies. Yeah, let's get rid of him too. Oh. So that's it this side. Strawberries are doing awesome. These are the new arrivals. These were just planted, um, I think it's from here to here. These guys were just planted... A week or so ago and look at the berries coming in I should probably pop those off until we get a little more bushy and their roots are doing well so I'm about ready to pull the extension off the drain so I can lower the water bit and get them some more air speaking of air I'll have to tell you that later because I'm having problems with a big air pump today not a good day to have a problem with it um, here we go the peppers peppers are starting to pep and there's another pep there and some peps come in there this one and that one are the runts they're not going so well I've been checking to make sure these things don't clog up they're doing fine they're all moved down now and I have the cucumbers I just moved them in this afternoon just about a half hour ago and they are happy and I'm gonna take this out and maybe just put that over there so those are the three cucumber. I have one more in there that just started popping up. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I'm not going to kill them off yet. I have two cantaloupes which are struggling in the seed container, but I think they're going to make it. And 
cantaloupe has a heavy fruit. What I wanted to do, and what I probably should have done before I put them in here, is put the cantaloupe on the end and have it vine across here so I can hang support when it starts to fruit. So I may still move them over. And that leaves this one free for, or I got three in the upper row free to do things. And this is for climber, so I haven't decided what's going to go in there yet. Peas, I had to break up their little party here. They were attacking each other. You can still see here. I had to break that up. You can see little knots here. And get them to start moving over here, which they're doing. So, peas are doing well, and they're going to have fun. Empty tomatoes. This guy's still going to be in a little runt. I'm going to get him underneath there. And I, I trimmed up them today but he's given off a few i got one beefer i think i got the flowers here i think there was one i thought i saw is this the beef no it's not this is cherry and i'm going to cut off a few more branches here probably this one let's go grab my clippers ah these aren't the normal clippers these are big ones but i have some tomato clippers let's see i want to get rid of this guy I want to get rid of this guy and we'll just throw them down on the ground for now so this is the beefer and I got a few more trimmers up here but I did see I thought I got a good flower here but I thought I saw a beef coming out maybe not it's too early and the other cherries are doing quite well I need a take a couple trimmings off of these or they're going to be all in each other's face um there's a one's coming in looks like i got four there so and then bottom row i'm getting ready to plug in uh cauliflower i'm probably going to put two in this one bucket and i have to spend some time maybe tonight making up some more buckets and then i'll probably put these two the broccoli in here I don't know, maybe I should only make it one each. But the good thing about it is, as a root, I can take one out and uh, move them to another bucket if I need to, because they're still going to be in these cubes. And that's all I have to do here. Get these guys planted, transferred in, and then cover them up with a drop in here. Get a couple from up here. Ooh, little flies. And I'll just put that in between the two for now. So, and I'll do him later. Zucchini is coming in quite well. One better than the other. I see some flowers getting ready to come in down here. And again, I think I might have to spread these guys out. They're going to take over. I might have done a little bit too close together. And then we already showed you the peppers pepping. So... Cool, let's quickly do an update on the fishy side before we close this part of the clip out. I already showed you the fishies are doing well and I tried something this weekend that did not end well is I was putting this thing in there to kind of squirt the water out. Well, I think I mentioned this before that if I do something to one side, I have to do it to both. Because what this did is it actually impeded the flow a bit causing this one to increase the flow which got the water up over the edges which I do not want and I'm gonna try to see if I can put this back I have this crooked because the plecos I got decided they want to live underneath there and I didn't want them getting squished so I'm gonna have to fix that and the air tank, it's just not putting out what I, it was. I had a little problem with backflow. You know, it kept on blowing this off, so I put a zip tie on it. And then when it did, I was having water flow through here from this tank here. So what I also did is, I went and got, uh, you see it down there, check valves. I got them on both tanks now. And I wonder if that's impeding some of the airflow as well. You know, because it takes some effort to blow through them. So, because when I bought that air pump, these things were cranking, especially this side. 
not so much anymore so I don't know maybe I should buy an air pump for one for each tank that might be an idea at a hundred dollars a pop for the tank or the compressors and some tank is doing well I just dosed with iron so it does have like an orange tint and my water level is down on the rain and we don't have any foreseeable rain in the future yeah it's down to the second rung so what is that approximately oh, I can't see the markers a hundred it's probably a hundred and ten or a hundred and twenty for a tank so times three three hundred and forty three hundred and sixty gallons left in there if that's it right now and I have no more accidents it probably will last I'm not going to say the summer. I don't have that high expectations. Especially when it gets hot and these plants start soaking up water and the evaporation increases. So what I'll do if we don't get any more rain is I will close off one valve here. Fill this with tap water. Leave the top off and run an extension cord over here and put an air pump and drop uh, some stones in there to gas off. And then once that's gas, I'll open up the valve, let it even back out. And I might do that a couple times to get this up level-wise. Um, but leave some room in case we do have some rain. You know, it still is April, still is April showers month. So, and I know it rains a little bit in May sometimes. So, Northern California is getting that atmospheric river going. So hopefully we can get some down here. But if not... I have plans. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, that's it. That's an update. That's what I've been doing. That's what I am doing. Uh, I'm going to start working on the other half over there. I've got a quote from a fence guy, and I think we're going to go for it. So we're going to get the back fence in. I got my uh, root pots, the fabric pots for the trees in. I ordered from Amazon. Great deal. Five for, uh, I don't know, it's five 30 gallon for less than 20 bucks hot deal so we're gonna go lemon lemon mandarin and mandarin and then I don't know what else we're gonna put in there and then like I said when we get the fence up I want to put passion fruit up along the fence over there so backyards coming together and I, I think I mentioned this in the last clip beautification still going on so I will talk to you guys Another video later in this week or next week as things get going or unless a catastrophe or something exciting happens. So until then, you guys have a great week. Keep on gardening even though it's getting hot. And always choose to be happy. Alright guys, see you later. Hey. Oops, I'm upside down. Hey, uh... Am I? I'm gonna start over.